I'm going to be showing you a workout from each guide. Got pros and cons for each of them. All of the details that you need to know. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Liz if you haven't seen any of my videos before and today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Shreddy Home Guide and the Tone and Sculpt Home Guide. I have got a more in detail review on my channel which I'll link in the description below but I've had a few uh, request to make a comparison video. I'm going to be showing you a workout from each guide. The Shreddy I've opted for arms and abs. The Tone of Sculpt Home Guide I've opted for a lower body so a leg workout. Why should you even follow a workout guide? Of course there are thousands of free workouts on the internet, on Instagram, on Facebook and of course you could easily just make a plan yourself, write it down and stick to that. But if we're being realistic, it's really hard to find the motivation, especially being at home. Even I am struggling to get the motivation some days to do a home workout. So doing a guide gives me so much, obviously, motivation. It just gives me something to work towards. They both have amazing communities, as in Facebook groups, Instagram. On the app itself, there is community community section on each of the of the apps. I feel like when you start a guide you get support from all the other girls doing the guide as well. You've got something to work towards and it really does give you that extra push in my opinion. I have been doing workout guides for probably just over a year, a year and a few months I've been following workout guides. Before that I would do my own thing so I have had the experience of doing both. But being at home, being in lockdown, we need that extra push at the moment. People are looking for a guide to follow. So hopefully this video can help you. So I've got pros and cons for each of them. During the workout, I'm going to be going through the workout, what the exercises are, how it's laid out. Is it circuit based? Is it sets and reps, superset? What equipment to use? What equipment you need to do the guides? I'm going to let you know all of the details that you need to know during the workouts. I've gone through what I'm going to show you. Let's just get straight into the workout videos. So I am following the home tone up plan from this guide, which is the five days a week workouts. This is the workout split, so full body, two strength rounds, legs and bum and arms and abs. I'll put the times here of each workout so you can see. The strength rounds are hit circuits, which is why they are only 10 minutes long. So this is what it looks like when you're about to choose what workout you're doing that day. I'm doing the arms and abs workout today, so it gives me the time that it's going to take to do it, the amount of circuits which is for, and the recommended equipment that I need. The app does allow you to switch workouts, so if you're not feeling that particular workout, you can switch it up, but as you can see, they are from the gym workout, so you will need weights to do this. I've got my phone and my equipment ready, so I'm about to start the workout. First things first, it is circuit based and timed based, so each exercise is 30 seconds long. The app doesn't allow you to see an overview of the workout, so you can only see what's next at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, yeah, come a little bit closer. Each workout has got a video so you can always follow along if you're not sure on any of the exercises so that is good. The app does give you an alternative if you need to swap the exercise for something different. There is usually three to four exercises in each circuit and you always repeat it for three rounds. Also in between each exercise you get a 30 second rest. Now after I've completed all three rounds, I get a 60 second rest before I move on to circuit number two. Bye, bye, bye. As you can see at the top, this is circuit number two and the next ex exercise is located at the bottom of the screen along with the total number of exercises, which is 39 for this workout. In the back of my mind, 
as you can see with this app there are a lot of body weight exercises I repeated that circuit two more times and then I had my 60 second rest if you've noticed this is the first time I've picked up any weights so this app has definitely a lot more body weight exercises so I've covered all of the main points with this guide anything I've missed out will be at the end of the video I only actually recorded three circuits for this video because by now you've had all the information and you understand exactly how the app is. So I'm just going to let the rest of the video play through. So moving on to the Tone and Sculpt Home Guide, so obviously I've gone for the expert level as you can see but there are beginner, intermediate, advanced and expert to choose from. So this is what the app looks like, very neat and organised in my opinion. So this is the workout split and what it looks like when you are looking at your weekly planner. You can swap workouts around if you don't want to do them on the days that it says. For every single workout, it gives you the equipment that you need. It also gives you the muscles that are used for each exercise. Today, I'll be showing you a lower body workout. With this app, you do get an overview of the whole workout. Every single workout starts with five minutes of skipping on this home guide. So this guide is definitely a lot different than Shreddy as this is sets and reps. There is a follow along video with each exercise as well. Got it all figured out, wanna do this right, there's a doubt in my mind. The next exercise is lateral lunges and this is a superset so there are quite a few supersets in this home guide. If you click the icon on the left that allows you to pick an alternative exercise and it usually gives you anywhere between three and five exercises to choose from I shiver inside doesn't show but my nerves are inside out is because you're not worth and the icon on the right it allows you to track your weights which I think is a really good touch turning gold into sand don't know why Unlike the Shreddy app, it doesn't tell you how long each workout takes, but me personally, it takes me anywhere between 45 minutes and one hour. I sound so cliche, what I am trying to do is say I love Finishing the workout with weighted jumping squats. These were absolute killer and I ended up putting the weight down and doing the rest of them without the weight. Now, this workout guide is definitely more challenging than the Shreddy app, but of course it is preference. So I'm just going to go through a couple of details about Shreddy that I haven't just mentioned during the workout. When it is on offer, it is only £7 a month, which is what I pay. Um, I think it's around £10 a month if you were going to pay full price. There are two different options for the workout guides and you can pick three or five days for each of them as well. Honestly, I really, really enjoyed when I was doing Shreddy. I think I'd done this for two or three weeks and I was absolutely hooked and I was thinking, that is it. I'm not trying any other workout guide because I absolutely love Shreddy and I'm just really into it. But then with the circuits, 
it's too much for me to do circuit based it's not what i'm used to when i was at the gym it was just all weight training very little cardio obviously i would get my cardio in some days but cardio wasn't a massive thing for me so to go um from that to doing quite a lot of cardio and everything circuit based a lot of jumping movements and you know body weight movements are hard like jump squats and single leg hip for us i mean these kill these absolutely kill um i did enjoy it but it just got after a couple of weeks i was getting a little bit bored i didn't like the strength rounds and it wasn't long enough a 10 minute workout is not long enough so i think when i tried a different home guide which was of course the tony sculpt home guide i was like okay i can't go back to shreddy because i can't go back to all of them circuits but it's complete preference if that's what you prefer to do short and sweet get your workout in feel good you've got a sweat on and you've got it done then perfect shreddy could be for you but if you have got more time on your hands and you just feel like you want to challenge yourself that bit more, then yeah, toner sculpt would probably be for you. So now I'm just going to go through a couple of things about the toner sculpt, which I didn't mention during the workout. You get a 14 day free trial and it's $13.99 a month. I believe we've got a 20% discount on at the moment. So it's £9 something a month, which is what I'm paying at the moment. Yeah, there is a home guide and a sculpt tick guide. Um, both obviously can be done at home, but the sculpt tick guide, I believe is more circuit based that is just not what i've done i've just stuck to the home guide so after i completed the toner sculpt i was absolutely in love with it i was like yes this is for me just really enjoyed it it was set and reps obviously some supersets included there was a bit of cardio in there for example you'd superset something with jump squats and Obviously, at the beginning of every workout, there is five minutes of skipping, which is so, so hard to do, by the way. I am not, like... No, I'm not a skipper. <laughs> so, yeah. I did really enjoy it, and I was completely converted to the Tony Sculpt Home Guide when I started that. It's definitely more my style. So, overall, of course, both apps are good for completely different reasons. It is completely up to you and your preference what you um, like the sound of most but personally for me from now on I will be sticking to the toner sculpt home guide as it just suits me better it's usually around an hour's workout and I'm burning around four five hundred calories which is perfect which is what I burn at the gym but when I was doing the shreddy home guide of course some workouts were 26 minutes and the shorter ones were only 10 or 11 minutes so i was obviously burning half the calories and i just didn't feel like i'd done enough i kind of felt like i could do more so yes that is my overall review and comparison i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you if you were thinking about starting one of these guides so thank you for watching everyone and i'll see you next time